Okay guys, as so you saw, I just broke my fast 20 hours later, and this is my meal. I got this pasta and broccoli mix from Walmart. I just added in a dollar, I mean a dollar. I, I grilled some shrimp on the stove yesterday when I made the scallops, so I um, threw these on there as well, and I just added the shrimp to this little mixture. That's my meal, and I got some strawberries I just cut up fresh, and then I got some Caesar salad that I'm gonna put with this. And I had a, some, finally got my cup of coffee, so this is my one meal a day. And that's it, I won't be eating anything else. So tomorrow at whatever time, six o'clock. Okay, I'll be back. One meal a day, Coke Zero, and three shell, soft shell tacos. And I'm also gonna have this, my detox, so that'll be included. Yes. Anyway, that's it, 23 hours later. To get this full body melt torch burn on, honey, you're in for a ride. Let's do this. Breaking my fast with a small Caesar salad, and I'm gonna drink, I'm drinking coffee because I have a real bad headache, so I gotta have some coffee.
Breaking my fast, 18 hours later, with my smoothie drink. This is not no joke, y'all. Oh. It's almost to the end, but baby, I'm about to die. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, she gave us a break. Thank you, Jesus. Hello, guys. I want to come in and just to give you a little update on how I'm feeling about everything. And I just got done working out. I burned almost 500 calories with walking with Joe. I'm really, really loving walking with Joe. She is um, actually a really good inspiration. And, um,. She's got high energy. Like, I think you guys will check her out for sure. But I wanted to just tell you, yesterday I went out to eat at a place called Cuzzle, but I ate fried chicken, mac and cheese, yams, and greens. And what I didn't do was beat myself up about it. I ate good. I felt good. I, I did not eat that morning. I did not eat since. I actually been fasting ever since I ate that. So I'm going to fast until bed to, to dinner tonight, and that'll be over about 26 hours of fasting. So that's the most I've ever done. But I want to enjoy that meal, and I didn't want to be stressed out about it. Because what I don't want to do with this new journey is deprive myself of things that I want. I just Because in real life, you're never going to not eat fruits like keto. You're never not going to eat a small portion every single time, um, like Weight Watchers. I just I, I want to do something I can do for life. And for me, I got to... To me, intermittent fasting gives me that luxury. It gives me the opportunity to, like, if I mess up, you just know I gotta make some sacrifices after. Cause I enjoyed that. I didn't feel guilty about it. I really had a nice time out yesterday. Um, me and one of the nurses from the from travel assignment, but it was really good. But the day I got in, I worked out. I'm working out in the fastest state, and I could have ate this morning at 16 hours, but I decided to push it on till dinner. So. It'll be about 26 hours before I actually eat again. So I just want you to know that I'm feeling super positive. I'm really proud of myself. And um, I just hope somebody out there be inspired by some of the, the sacrifices I'm making, all the things I'm doing. I'm trying to share all my journey so maybe somebody can learn from it. Because one thing I do like to do is pass what I know to others. So anyway, I'm here. <laughs> Six hours later, I'm breaking my fast. Sweet potato waffle fries cooked in the air fryer. This is honey mustard. This is freshly made chicken breast salad with onions and craisins in it. Uh, some lightly toasted wheat bread. And watermelon, and you know I got my coffee. I'm about to dig in. This is dinner. This is my one meal for today. And then I head off to work. What's up, what's up, what's up? The day's a little rough, guys. I ain't in the mood, but I'm here. I'm about to get on it. Just got off from work, and your girl is tired. Yes, I am tired. But I'm gonna try to knock out a couple miles here, Lord. Let's do it. show you I never made a salad really before like this this is kale I'm put some baby spinach mixed spinach in here and I didn't know what I was doing but I said let me just try a few things I put some cucumbers and purple onions and I added some a little bit of garlic pepper I mean garlic garlic powder and um I had washed the salad but I added some garlic powder and I got some of this I already had um, olive oil signature Olive Garden Signature Italian, so it looks good. I'm gonna make that add that on my salad. I'm having chicken parmesan. Um, T was here, she got this ready for me. It's a chicken breast, um, pretty much in with panko, some virgin. Um, we coated it with this first, extra virgin olive oil. She added this. And I just put it in the air fryer. Actually, it looks really good in the air fryer. Look, guys, how it turns out. It looks really good. So I'm going to um, add some spaghetti sauce on it. Parmigiano, Romano. I'm going to add a little bit of that and probably I'll put a little bit of cheese and stick it in the microwave. And then I'm going to have the salad with it. I'm breaking a 21-hour fast. 
Um, I also just got ready, got my smoothie ready. Spinach, pineapple, cucumber, ginger root, of course. I'm really proud of myself. The weight's coming down slowly, but surely. But I just want to come in and share real quick. And y'all see, I'm not playing. I have to have my coffee as soon as I get up and wait and break my fast. So that's my dinner today. I'm probably have a, a little bit of fruit. Um, I got some a mango and a peach. So I may just eat this peach with that afterwards. So that'll be my one meal. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. That's dinner. Hey, guys. I want to show you a little victory that I have came across and I want to share it with you guys. I um, went to, I was at the little shopping um, area here called the Great Lakes. So I stopped by this Tommy Hilfiger store um, when I was out with the um, girl from my job the other day. We stopped by there. So I said, let me walk at Tommy Hilfiger. So while I was in there, I saw they had a clearance rack and I, I saw this dress I really, really liked and I actually bought it, but I was hesitant to buy it because it is, if you see it, it's a size large. And I have not wore large and I don't know how long, right? So I almost didn't buy the dress. I'm like, no, nah, I probably can't wear this dress. So this is the dress. A cute little shirt dress that I was gonna wear. I got some Air Force Ones that I was gonna wear with it. I thought about wearing with it. So anyway, the dress is a large and I came home to the hotel, not home, but I came back to the room and I tried it on and I don't wanna show you something, hold on. This is the dress, guys. A large. Got the little zippers. The pockets. Okay. I love pockets on dresses. Can you believe it? A large, guys. I have not worn a large in I don't know how long. You can't tell me your girl don't feel really proud. Motivation, keep moving. But anyway, that's it, that's my little dress. Cute. Yeah, I'm super proud of that. And let me just add, this dress is a large, and it ain't even fitting tight. Like, I'm not even, it's not even squeezing tight on me. Like, I got room in this dress. Like, if you know when I do the pockets, it's room in this dress, so. I just want to give you my, show you guys about my victory. I'm proud. I'm moving forward. Let's keep it going, guys. Talk to y'all soon. Thank you guys, I can't believe I did it. The journey continues, just stay tuned. Please take five minutes and go like and subscribe to my page. I would really appreciate it, thank you so much.